at 9, another victim of an apparent airsoft gun attack, speaks out to Fox 2. The lifelong Belleville resident was struck while riding his bike with his dogs. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live downtown with a look at crime we're seeing throughout the St. Louis area. Jeff? That's right, Mandy. You know, police say it's the summer months when school's out when they see an increase in this type of crime. It is frightening for the victims, and we have seen these attacks on both sides of the river. Dale Becker loves taking his chihuahuas on bike rides in his Belleville neighborhood. He was near North Missouri Avenue and East A Street a couple weeks ago when he was struck by an object he suspects was fired from an airsoft gun. A uh, car was passing me going this way, and right as they got even with me, they just unloaded their little rapid fire t -t 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 gun on me. My dog yelped, and uh, I think I heard the yelp before I got stung. Left a big old welt on my side. St. Louis police recently made arrests following an incident downtown and confiscated these gel blasters, which are similar to airsoft guns. Creve Corps police made an arrest following a frightening incident at a movie theater. Soulard residents have reported attacks, and our own news crew has been a target as well. You don't point at guns and shoot people regardless what they are. How much damage it does to you. They could have put my eye out, you know. I don't get it. Becker wants tougher penalties for these crimes and warns anyone thinking these crimes are harmless that they're not. He adds there's a chance the next target shoots back with deadly force. The way it is, almost everybody's armed nowadays, and they're going to come across the wrong person. And Belleville police tell me they are investigating this uh, most recent incident and tell me they've seen a handful of these crimes this year. Uh, these airsoft guns, gel blasters, they're legal, but it's when they're used to harm innocent victims when that becomes a crime. And police tell me in some cases those crimes can, in fact, be felonies. Reporting live downtown, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.